this is part two now of modeling a bird feeder and I'm going to do a couple of things let's finish up uh, the modeling here first thing I want to do is something I mentioned in the last video at least in a text that popped up on the screen um, the smoothing here and the beveling so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the bevel modifier and I'm going to switch this to angle and that already is going to change things all right so I'm going to want to do that on all of these bevels here that have the screws in them at least all right there we go okay so now I want to do some uh, bolts and the way I'm going to do it is this I come in here I'm going to edit mode select this face i'm in face selection and i'm going to bring my 3d cursor there so i'm going to go with that face selected shift s cursor selected i'm going to deselect and go back into object mode so my 3d cursor is now there shift a mesh plane go into edit mode and i'm going to rotate x 90 rx 90. one to look from the where my front view scale is down s to scale and I'll push it out in front one again get the approximate size I just want it to fit in there okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go control R print edge loop there and there all right and now I'm going to select the edges so I'm going to go around and select all of these edges the other edges E and S out like that okay just a certain ways now I have loop tools uh, enabled it's a free add-on that comes with blender so you just go up to edit preferences uh, and let's just search here for loop tools okay make sure you got a check mark in there and it's enabled and with that edge selected all the way around choose loop tools circle so now we have a circle like that okay select it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm going to come back here and before I deselect that I'm going to delete those faces X faces okay cool in three face selection I'm going to press C for circle select or paint select whatever and I'm going to select all those and I hit escape and you press I to inset and come in just a little ways and then E to extrude and come in now that square is actually too big so um, I want to grab all of the square so with that selected I'm going to go control plus a couple times one look from the front and I'm going to scale this but I'm not going to scale it in the Y direction S shift Y and I, I want to make it quite a bit smaller all right there we go now I'm going to go to object mode I'm going to control 2 for two subdivisions instead of coming over to the wrench control 2 and shade smooth and that's the kind of bolt that I'm going for screw bolt whatever I'm gonna pull that in it looks like that and that's what I want right there okay my vertices are coming up I'm not worried about it I want to mirror this now so I get one there and on the other side as well so I'm going to bring my 3d cursor right back to the middle so I'm going to go shift C and that brings my 3d cursor back to the middle and select this this bolt here and I'm going to set the origin to the 3d cursor and now I can go ahead and click mirror in the X and in the Y I'm going to apply the mirror, go into edit mode, select a piece of one of these, control L to get all of them, and now I'm going to rotate this in the rock in the Y. So I can, you know, make them look not perfectly I don't know, symmetrical. Rotate Y just a little bit off like that. All right, so we have that. I don't know if that makes it look better or not. And now what I can do is I can take one of these. I guess I'm going to grab this one. Control L. 
and I can shift D, pull it out. And I think I'm gonna hit P and break it out, separate by selection. That way, these ones that I mirrored, here if I can get them, are all in a group, but this one is on its own. And I can sort of position it, press the period key to focus on that thing alone. GY to move it in the Y direction. Hold shift if you need to move slower. We get this. And I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to scale it down and just position it till I like uh, where it is. Okay, so there, there's that. Um, I've got my, let's make sure, which in a 3D cursor. Let's try mirroring it. It goes over to that one. And there, let's just make sure it looks okay. That looks okay. I'm not going to bother to change the orientation of those. I'm going to take that, I'm going to come in, I'm going to select this one, Control L, Shift D, and pull it out, P, Enter, break it out, select just those, and I'm going to delete the beer. So I've just got that one. Take this, rotate Z90. And look from the front, G to grab, or go, whatever it is. Period key to zoom in on that, and try to position this one as best I can. S to scale, and just get it in there. Yeah, I can live with that probably. Okay, select that. Make sure that I have my origin, 3D cursor, and let's mirror. And I've got bolts. Let's do one more up there. Let's come in here. Go in, select a bit. Where am I? Oh, on the other side, I guess. Okay, that's all right. Shift D and G. And let's go P to break it out. Where is that guy? Let's hide that for the moment. Take this. Let's go G Y. Pull it out. And then let's take that. I'm going to go ahead and set the origin of geometry to make it a little bit easier push it in here and I'm just gonna have it over here so I didn't really in the end need that hole Oops, squish it in here I think I'll take that and just make sure it's in the wall and it doesn't come through the other side it shouldn't and I'll have that Okay, I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor again and mirror this. There we go. So those would hold those clips on. Let's make sure we save. Let's try looking at this with the shadow. And before I do anything else, let's make sure mm, all of my bolts you see are red. I'm going to select as many of these as I can. Not bad though. And I'm going to flip these. And this one. I'm going to edit mode, Alt N, recalculate outside. I want them all blue. And this thing. Go in here, select it all, Alt N, recalculate outside. Everything is blue. Polys are all facing the right way. So now it's correct. Okay. So there we go. We've got some screws or bolts in there. Okay, we are almost done the modeling. The final thing I'm going to do is turn that stuff back on. I want to focus just on these things, so I'm going to press the slash key. And I'm going to make a little groove in here. 
for the piece of plastic to go in to cover it to protect it from the rain and the elements whatever um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a plane and I'm going to rotate X90 bring it close to here So what I want. I'm going to go into wireframe. Okay, let's scale this in the X. I'm going to make it nice and thin. And bring it over. And what I want to do is I want to avoid this because generally a bolt would go in that piece of wood and go into the base. And I have these grooves. I don't want the bolt going through this groove. So uh, now I'm going to press R to rotate and G to grab. And I'm going to move this so that it's not, the bolt would not hit that. And I'm going to try to line it up here. Um, sort of R. And I'm going to hold down Shift and move a bit slower. G to grab. Now the problem is that. Let's, let's just look at that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a Boolean. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'll talk about the problem in a second. Let's uh, E to extrude. I'm going to go in. And I'm going to, as you see, I'm going to cut in so that that piece of plastic can, can go in. Let's select it all. But let's have a look. I think I probably went the wrong way. Where's my face orientation? Yeah. So I'm going to go Alt N. Recalculate outside. So that's what I want um, I might lose a bit of my bevel when I do this we're gonna we're gonna see put my 3d cursor right there so, so I'm gonna select this piece make sure my origin is a 3d cursor and I'm gonna mirror and I'm also gonna mirror over there let's go ahead and turn off the shadow just in case I'm gonna save all right so Let's actually uh, slash key to bring everything back. I just want to see this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut all the way down to the bottom. But the piece of plastic you'll see is going to fit from here to here and sort of rest on this piece. And again, I just wanted to make it so that, for the wireframe, so that this groove here is not affecting the, the bolt area, that which would go right through into this piece here. All right, and I don't want it going through that, so it should be okay. So let's take this and this, slash, key to focus just on those. So I'm going to select that piece. It's still mirrored, and I want to do a Boolean on that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's minimize all this stuff. Let's go Boolean. Let's drag it to the top. I want to choose difference, the eyedropper, select that. I'm going to go ahead and apply it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to just hide it for now. Okay, so it's made its cut. And I still have the holes on the other side. One more thing I want to do on this. You see it's very kind of jagged here. I'm going to come up to the bevel. And its limit method is on angle. I'm going to come down to geometry. And outer, over here, miter outer, I'm going to choose arc. So watch this. It curves it a little bit. It looks a little nicer. Okay, and it should be done on all of them. Slash key to bring everything back. So this is what I've got. Alt H to bring back those things. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this piece now. I'm gonna go into edit mode. And I'm going to, I think I'll select the whole thing. Actually, no, I'm gonna select that edge, that face there. And I'm gonna and and you, you see I want to scale this in just a little bit or do I? I need to do that. I kind of want to, so I want to show you this. I can't just move this in the X direction. That's messed up. So I'm gonna switch over to normal, and now you can see that this face, the normal to it comes off perpendicular. So now I can. Come in here and I can just nudge it in just a little bit. Do the same on this one. Just a little. And deselect. And I'm going to take this. 
now I'm gonna flip from the, the side, which is really the front. I'm gonna pull, start pulling this over. Now I've still got the mirror on it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on clipping and pull it into itself. X faces, delete the faces. Let's go back and look at this. Okay. Now, we're not quite done. I'm going to come up to the top here and select that. You can see I still have normal on it. I'm going to look from the front in wireframe or at the side. I'm going to start pulling this down to about to about there. And probably I would bring it under the roof. Maybe I'll rotate it a bit and just bring it down, change the position a little bit, but that's okay. Let's come under and select the face. And I'm going to bring it up to about here so it sort of rests on there. Okay, to about there. And I think I'll rotate it. And just pull it, pull it down. You can just do this kind of thing. Okay, so it sort of just rests on there. All right, now you can't see anything inside. But. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mirror. And um, it's pretty thick plastic. I might make it a little bit narrower at some point, but for now it's okay. I'm just debating if I want to put a bevel on that for the bottom. And then make that out of a, a plasticky material or glass or something so you can see through it. Now that I've applied the mirror, I'm going to come in and select that edge and that edge. I'm going to go, no, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go X dissolve edges. I don't need it. And I'm going to look at that. And I'm going to debate about if I want to push this in a little bit. So you see a little bit more of that. And I'll do it on the other side. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. All right. This is pieces of plastic and they're not going to be perfect. And that is it. I'm going to take this and press H to hide it. It looks a little nicer like that anyhow. All right, turn on the shadow. Do this. Actually, just before I do that, <laughs> let's make sure. Yeah, okay. There we go. Take that and hide that again. Oops. That. And that is our bird feeder. Okay, I think the modeling is now done on that. And the next thing to do would be to add some textures to it. And so I think we'll look at that in the next video.